Welcome to day two of the Aquarius experiment. That's what I've chosen to call this video series. Uh, I'm Sarah Waggle. I am an astrologer and a leadership coach, and I have practiced things like Reiki. I've worked a little bit with human design um, and all kinds of other tools to support spiritual development. So today I want to talk about something that will kind of be like the overarching broad topic throughout the month, which is feeling into your physical body. And so most of us humans stick with our brain, right? We're usually going 90 miles an hour doing so many chores and tasks and trying to just keep up with life that we camp out in our brain, whether we are trying to remember everything or overthinking everything or trying to remember the schedule or um, absorbing information, um, all sorts of things. So we live in our brain. And um, the disadvantage of that is that we don't stop and tune into our physical body. And so um, I will do separate videos about the chakras um, and energy centers, but today I just wanted to introduce this idea of um, kind of getting into your physical body, whether it's feeling your neck, is it tight? Is it, you know, are you, it, does one side feel tighter than the other? Um, feeling into your gut. Uh, does your does your tummy hurt? Is it upset? Is it having trouble digesting? Are you feeling like a burning sensation um, in your digestive tract, your digestive system? Um, tuning into your hips, your pelvic region. Uh, do your hips hurt? Are they uncomfortable? Are they achy? Um, and then go into your joints. Do your joints hurt? Um, are you feeling like you're swollen more than usual? Um, it's been super hot here where I live so uh, and humid. Um, so that contributes to inflammation. And so um, when we tune in to our body, we can learn a lot about how we physically respond to good news, bad news, sad news, happy news, all of those things. However, um, and then we can kind of take that uh, gauge and understand or, or honor how our body responds when we're not so comfortable, not so good news, um, all of those kinds of things. And so just getting a baseline requires kind of a daily practice of tuning into your body. So I invite you to take a, a couple of minutes every day um, just to tune in to your physical body. How does it feel? How is your digestion? Did you eat a spicy dinner last night? So this morning you're waking up and man, your digestive system is just not feeling it. Um, and everything that goes along with digestion. <laughs> um, things like that. The other thing too with um, feeling our body is body temperature. And so sometimes when body temperature, hangry, feeling, um, those sorts of things. So we can learn a lot about ourselves by just like our body temperature. So in the winter time, if it's super cold where you live, um, you may notice that like when you go outside, you're wearing like, you know, all kinds of layers. When you go inside, however, you kind of got to take off some layers, right? So that you can be in the, you know, if you've been outside and it's like zero degrees outside Fahrenheit, um, and then you step inside and it's more like 70 degrees Fahrenheit, um, you know, the temperature around you is different. So you have to peel off some layers. And when you don't do that, you can kind of get easily frustrated or easily uh, triggered or easily upset because the temperature of your body increases, you're sweaty, you're more dehydrated, you're overheated. Um, and then you just kind of, you know, any little thing like knocks you off kilter, right? Um, hangry is sort of the same thing. I get hangry. I carry snacks with me because I realize that I get hangry. Um, and so when I'm hangry, I can't think, I can't function, I'm, you know, I just get pissy, um, all of that. So I'll carry like a protein bar or um, something like that with me when I know I'm going to be out and about for a good chunk of the day and maybe not have time to catch lunch um, or something like that. Or I will build, build into my errands situation that I know I'm going to need to grab some lunch along the way. So I will build that into my, my, um, route. Uh, so I won't get hangry. 
Um, so we want to think about body temperature, hangry, um, all kinds of other like discomfort, you know, you know, choosing to ask where a bathroom is if you're somebody who is um, blind and you're in an unfamiliar place, uh, you know, choosing to take responsibility and ask where a bathroom is can be important or even asking where there's a snack machine or asking if there's a grab and go um, place. So being resourceful so that you can take care of yourself um, so that you can honor your physical body. Um, and again, back to the layers and things like that. You can also tell a lot about um, your physical body just based on like hydration. Do you often feel like you have cotton mouth? Like you gotta lick the sides of your cheeks or, um, you know, to get the saliva moving, things like that. Um, and sugar and other types of things like that can, can contribute to cottony mouth, um, feeling, um, but it's also a sign of dehydration, um, and things like that. As you see me licking my lips, <laughs> anywho, so we can learn a lot about our responses to situations based on tuning into our physical body. So I really want to invite you over the next 30 days to, um, Tune in, tune into how you respond to different pieces of information, different situations. Um, do you notice when your body gets overheated and you can take your jacket off, take your sweater off, um, if you've got a hat on, um, you know, things like that or something covering your head. Um, sometimes that can lead to, um, you know, body heat, uh, overheating your body. Um, are you attentive to when you're hungry and do you take a snack with you? Um, are you attentive to what your body can and cannot digest well so that when you are maybe traveling or on a long day excursion, um, maybe you avoid coffee that morning because coffee just goes right through you or maybe you choose to eat something um, that's more comforting to your system but it nourishes you. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, so you don't eat something that is going to cause discomfort or inflammation in your digestion um, and therefore you're able to function a little bit better. Um, and we're all guilty of like eating something spicy and being like, oh, I shouldn't have ate that. Now I'm gonna feel like all of that for the next 24 hours, right? We're all guilty of this. None of us is perfect. What I'm inviting you to do is take on the practice of tuning in to your physical body so that you can feel what your body feels like on a regular basis so that when you are in a responsive or reactive situation, you can interpret the um, actions or the responses of your physical body. All right, links below or in the bio for the newsletter for um, all of the things. Leo season, sun and rising signs. We do have a new moon this weekend. So I will be talking about intentions, um, but that was day two of the Aquarius experiment. Thank you so much for tuning in and I'll talk to you next time.